In this video, you'll learn how to upgrade your current 7th generation Intel Core processor-based computer running Windows 10 with an Intel Optane Memory Module, and configure Intel Optane Memory as a system accelerator within the Windows 10 operating system. In this video, you'll learn how to install the Intel Optane Memory Module, the overall system requirements that are needed for Intel Optane Memory where to download and install the Intel Optane Memory software driver package, and how to enable and disable an Intel Optane Memory volume for system acceleration within the Windows 10 operating system. Take a moment to review the requirements for installation of the Intel Optane Memory module and to enable system acceleration. We are starting with a fully set up system, with everything ready and the Windows 10 OS already installed on our SATA hard drive. Let's add the new Intel Optane Memory Module to the system. First, ensure the system is powered down and unplugged from a power source before adding the Intel Optane Memory Module. Make sure to consult your motherboard vendor's user manual to determine the proper M.2 BM key connector from the Intel PCH that is remappable and supports the Intel Optane Memory Module. If your motherboard does not have pre-installed risers in front of the 2280BM key M.2 connector, please install them before installing the Intel Optane Memory Module so the module remains level when installed. Make sure to take care when handling the module by placing your thumb and forefinger on either side and not on the components. Now line up the notches and insert the card. Carefully screw down the back to firmly secure it to the board. Note that you have to connect the Intel Optane Memory Module and the SATA drive that is to be accelerated to the Intel chipset. Connections through a non-Intel based controller are not supported. Make sure your BIOS is up to date with support for Intel Optane Memory. Consult your motherboard vendor's support website for the latest Intel Optane Memory supported BIOS. Now let's power on our system and boot to the OS. To install the Intel Optane Memory package, start by double-clicking the executable file setupoptanememory.exe, which will also install the Intel RST driver. Remember, you must be logged in with administrator privileges before running the executable. Once the installer comes up, click Next. If your system BIOS is configured in AHCI mode, you'll be notified of that during installation and there will be a switch to an Optane supported mode. Please note that if your system contains more than one operating system, this change could have adverse effects. Consult your motherboard vendor or Intel support for more information. Click Next and continue with the installation process. As the system is restarting, you'll see a prompt letting you know that additional configuration for Intel Optane Memory is occurring. This process will make changes to your system BIOS settings. For more information on these settings, please review the User and Installation Guide located on the Intel Support site for Intel Optane Memory. A second prompt will also appear asking for permission to install the Intel Rapid Storage Technology Driver. Select Yes. When this is complete, the system will reboot again and continue the installation process. Note that if your system BIOS settings were already set up properly to support Intel Optane Memory, you will not see the additional installation steps taking place. Instead, the system will boot directly into Windows and continue the installation process. Upon entering the OS and desktop, You'll see a pop-up message asking if you want to enable Intel Optane Memory at this time. This may take a few seconds to appear. When it does, select Yes. If the prompt does not appear, go to the Windows tab and open the Intel Optane Memory application. After clicking Yes, the Intel Optane Memory application will open. There are three tabs within the Intel Optane Memory application. Setup is where you can enable or disable an Intel Optane Memory Volume. The Statistics section will show additional details, including the schedule for Intel Optane Memory optimizations, if you have a module that is at least 32 gigabytes. 
and the About section shows current details about the application. Now let's enable System Acceleration by clicking the Enable button. After clicking Enable, a message will appear informing you that all data stored on the Intel Optane Memory Module will be erased during this process. If you have data on the Intel Optane Memory Module, please back it up to another drive before proceeding. To confirm you wish to proceed, click Yes. The system is now linking the SATA drive with the Intel Optane Memory Module and the volume is being built. Once complete, a message will appear informing you that a restart is required to finish the setup process. Note that if you have an Intel Optane Memory Module with a capacity of 32 gigabytes or larger, you'll see additional optimizations being done during this restart. Now that Intel Optane Memory is all set up, you will begin to notice your PC start and boot quicker, search and find files faster, save large files faster, launch applications faster, and multitask between applications seamlessly, making your PC feel faster, more responsive, and accelerated. Note that Intel Optane Memory accelerates the files and applications that you use the most often by monitoring your usage for optimal performance. As a result, you'll see system and application responsiveness increase over time, but may not see a responsiveness increase for a particular application or file upon first use after enabling Intel Optane Memory. To disable the Intel Optane Memory volume into separate drives again from the Intel Optane Memory application, go to Setup and click Disable. The volume is now being separated. The time this takes could vary, but this screen will show you a status of the process to complete. Once this process is complete, a message will appear informing you to restart the system. If you have any additional questions or need for support, there is additional information available on the Intel Support website. Or you can contact Intel Support directly and we will be happy to assist you.